All right, Pittsburgh's action weather. We're focusing on the rain that's right here in our region. Uh, Steve was just saying, it seems to be moving pretty fast out of here. Yeah, it looks like the cold front is about an hour ahead of schedule, okay. and that just means another hour that we could have sunshine this Good. afternoon. Yeah, this thing is getting in and out very quickly. We're happy to say, because it's coming through now instead of three, four, five o'clock in the afternoon, our severe weather threat has basically not been a threat. Some heavier downpour, some gusty winds, but there's that cold front moving west to east. And right now, look back to the west of Pittsburgh, and we're already drying out. A couple of showers sticking around the next hour or so, but you go into Ohio, and there's already sunshine. That line of rain is now basically east of the city of Pittsburgh, and especially northeast of Pittsburgh itself. So let's take a look. This is south of the city. Some scattered rain showers just about everywhere and anywhere. You get up toward Pittsburgh and notice the heaviest rain is now just east of the city. Gets much heavier north of town. In fact, just east of McCandless and west of New Kensington. So New Kensington, get ready for some heavy rain. Butler, you're getting some rain right now, but that's about to wrap up. If you're up toward East Brady or Toby, Pine Grove, these are the areas that are getting the heavier rain showers. Franklin, you've got some heavy rain as well. All right, this is what it looks like in downtown Pittsburgh. The clouds definitely back in, and it looks like those rain showers will continue to taper off in the city over the next 30 minutes. This has been the real story. Oppressively humid the last couple of days. Still a bit muggy out there, but that humidity gets wiped out. It is going to be absolutely refreshing over the next couple of days. It's going to feel like September or early October tomorrow. All right, when we're looking for a cold front, we look at the dew point. The higher that number, the more muggy it is. Pittsburgh right around 70, Newcastle 72. That is oppressively humid. But you get toward Youngstown 66, and right back there, that is the drier air that will be working in as we work through the day. Much easier to see it on the big picture. We sit at 69, Detroit 56, Chicago 50, Minneapolis 47. With that northwesterly wind, that is the dry air headed this way. 9 a.m., that was that sticky air, winds out of the south. Over the next 24 hours, as this cold front continues to slide from west to east by tomorrow morning, it is going to feel great with dew points at about 52, and we'll be in the 40s by tomorrow afternoon, which is that term we always use off the, char uh, off the charts dry air in our area. All right, let's check out Futurecast. And here we are at our current time, 12 p.m. There's that line around and just east of the city. Watch what happens by later this afternoon. This is 5 o'clock from the city west. Already getting sunshine, eastern areas, maybe a couple of lingering showers. If you're headed to PNC Park tonight, this is what you've got. Beautiful weather, sunshine, and low humidity. All right, here's our forecast. For today, still calling for a high of 78 and tomorrow, same deal. But remember, today with that higher humidity, it feels a lot different. Tomorrow, refreshing, a low temperature of 58 degrees. Saturday, 79, Sunday, 82, and just three perfect days, Friday through Sunday. As we see it right now, that rain holds off until at least Sunday night, more likely Monday. I know we've got Pirates tonight, tomorrow, Saturday, and Sunday, and yeah. the Steelers as well on Sunday, so I think it's all going to be good. All right, thanks so much, Steve.